I'm Todd Harrison, Senior Fellow and Director of the Aerospace Security Project at CSIS. What we wanted to do with this project was to do an unclassified, open source based assessment of all the threats to space systems that we're seeing develop around the world. So our space threat assessment report actually catalogs all the threats that we're seeing from China, Russia, Iran, and some other countries as well. One of the most significant events over the past year that's detailed in our report is the Indian ASAT test that was conducted in early 2019. That's where India fired a direct ascent anti-satellite missile at one of their own satellites that was launched intentionally to be a target. The Indian anti-satellite missile struck the satellite, broke it into hundreds of pieces. By the end of the calendar year, there were about 18 pieces large enough to track that we're still in orbit. And now that number has come down further, so we're looking at about 10 pieces of debris remaining from that now. In the report, we walk through the major countries that are developing counter space weapons. You know, a counter space weapon is anything that's designed to disrupt, degrade, or destroy space systems, either in space or on the ground. Both Russia and China are active uh, in developing and deploying weapons Russia had co-orbital ASAT weapons going back into the Cold War. They tested these space weapons over 20 times in orbit. China became well known for testing a kinetic ASAT weapon back in 2007. What's less recognized is that China has continued to test their direct ASAT weapons almost every year to higher and higher orbits. In terms of Iran and North Korea, we see both countries active in jamming and spoofing satellite communications and GPS signals. We also see both countries active in using cyber forms of attack for various purposes. India is you know, a more recent newcomer to the you know, development of counter space weapons. And they certainly have the technology to employ electronic means of attack against space systems as well as cyber means of attack. The thing that the United States and other like-minded countries are really working hard towards is developing a consensus around norms of behavior in space. The more progress we see towards establishing commonly accepted norms of behavior in space, the better it will be for the long-term health of the space environment and the United States' ability to use space for both national security and commercial purposes. To read the full report, visit CSIS.org.